Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I am going to show you how to define the layout of the landscape uh, like this. So this is uh, as you can see in the screen I am going to define an initial layout for the landscape of my game world so that uh, I can easily divide the area into sections that I so that I can place some stuff here some gameplay stuff here some levels here and some levels here so like that uh, I have a clear boundaries the reason to do that is uh, sometimes uh, it's not a good idea to keep some long distances visible from places uh, it's always better to cover up some long distances because uh, it it is always better for performance and also gameplay mechanics as well so right so this is inside unreal the this landscape is generated based on the layout that i have defined but still it looks natural because these uh, all the natural effects are applied on top of that defined layout uh, right so let's get started i'll put this aside and this one as well so this is my previous landscape i showed you guys earlier and here as you can see this uh, soil is somewhat too much and also the rock surface is too much blended with the soil surface soil layer so i'll fix that as well so i'll unload this one <clears throat> and i'll delete all of these sub levels here right and these two folders as well because we don't need them anymore okay and i'll reload the my map all right <clears throat> now i'll go back to unreal world machine so this is the my current landscape and as you can see there are these in these edges uh, or sometimes they are lower than the middle section sometimes higher than the middle section but I need them to be these edges I need them to be always higher because so that the player wouldn't see that uh, player would only see that these are like mountain range so nothing beyond so it will help player to immerse in the game world so he will think that the world is infinite so but he just can't see the end so if the player see something like this in the game so it kills the immersion right so first thing is uh, here I can add this uh, layout general this one this layout generator so I'll add one here and I'll plug there is a input called shape in guide height field in this advanced Perlin so I'll plug this one here so here I'm going to define the layout of our landscape like this I'll start from here wait uh, I select a polygon and start placing dots like this so uh, this is going to be the rough shape of the landscape that I am going to make
and uh, also we can modify the emulator as well so don't need to worry too much about the initial placement we can always modify them later right so this is going to be the rough layout of my world and if I go here and select this overlay view wait okay here and let's mm, okay it's above in the ground so I can't see all right so this is the shape I get after applying natural filters to my defined layout <coughs> and I sorry about that okay and I'll select this one and I can modify this fall of distance and the default height properties like this if I reduce the fall of distance then there will be steep uh, slope so in the and at this edge of this polygon <coughs> Right this so when if the edge is steep then the player character can't walk on these edges so it's better that we can limit the players areas that player can move so that he wouldn't notice these edges of the world I right I think yeah I think it should be good enough now and yeah but uh, this actually this looks a little too obvious when I s look at the world in this uh, view but the player is not likely to see in this view so I don't think it would be a problem but if you think it would be a problem we can increase the fall of distance a little bit so that it would look a little more natural like this right okay I think that's enough so I'll just go ahead and press build so this will start building and one more thing I said about that uh, the layers are blended too much like uh, no steep in our previous project the landscape layers uh, are blended in between we can change this by reducing the fall of uh, value here so that we will get uh, we will get sharp edges between like rock layer and grass layer and soil layer right so I'll just build again alright now it's blended and let's go back to Unreal so here I'll go to import tiled landscape and select height map file okay this build complete and so these are my generated maps so these are the height maps I'll select them and as for the layer I'll choose in my landscape which we created before and I'll set this one as 200 so it will set to 64 square kilometers and I'll put this hundred as so let's set 600 so, uh, right uh, because this value looks better I tested it before right so
so these are the high angle textures weight maps and these are the mid angle weight maps and these are the low angle weight maps right now hit import all right okay okay landscape imported successfully and but you we see only one sub level here but if i reload this level again it sh we should see, yeah we can see now all the sub levels i'll load them <coughs> okay so we got this uh, natural landscape which is built on top of the layout I defined so uh, yeah I know it looks a little too obvious even if even here but you can fix it by adjusting the fall of values of the places I showed you guys right so I'll hit play uh, okay one more thing so when I press play you see that these distance areas vanished so that is because uh, in here in this world composition window there are layers and currently they are uncategorized and the stream distance is 50,000 so if I set it to something like some larger I'll define a new layer called uh, my layer and I'll set this to instead of 50,000 like 500,000 let's see and I'll assign this these to this layer and okay I'll leave it there or close it let's play right now they are not going away but you have to be careful here because if you planning to draw everything in the distance that may have a performance Concern. So I'll enable FPS and as the moment it is 60 FPS we have but that's mostly because not because of the landscape but because of this grass. So as you can see this grass eats a lot of performance but that's a problem for another day. So yeah this is the landscape and that's all I wanted to show you guys tomorrow and I think in the next time we can work on adding foliage or trees into our level alright and see you in the next video goodbye